Hello, I would like to talk uh, more about uh, research databases. Uh, so when we pursue a research project, we want to find secondary sources, which is uh, which are publications on the topic or related to the topic. Um, and um, in, in other videos, I already discussed uh, music specific databases. Um, so the three music specific databases for secondary literature are Realm, uh, Music Periodicals Database, and Music Index. Now, um, what they contain is, uh, they basically, most of them index articles published in music journals. That means the entire journal is on music and uh, the articles in those journals are being indexed. Realm also contains books and chapters in edited books. Uh, but uh, those books then might, uh, must be uh, entirely on music. That means the overall topic must be on music. So that already shows as a limitation because there might be a journal or a book um, with, a, with a, paper, a collection of papers that is generally not on music, that's on, let's say, uh, sociology in the United States. Uh, but one of the chapters uh, in that book might be on music and we will find we will not find this in realm because realm does not index non-music specific books uh, or non-music specific journals for that matter and that's why we need to look into other databases and in another video i already pointed out two very important ones uh, one is called jstor um, and um, so it has uh, journals, indexes journals from a wide variety of disciplines. Uh, and the other one is Project Muse. Uh, here, Project Muse from Johns Hopkins University Press. Uh, it now also um, includes a lot of uh, e-books. Uh, so they have ventured into, into books, uh, specifically e-books as well, because it is a full text database. Um, and so, so those are primarily humanities databases, I mean Project Muse and uh, JSTOR. Uh, that means they have a rich content uh, of music as well. And we must search in those databases on our topic. Uh, but there are also databases that are um, non-music specific. They're on other subjects, for example, if we do um, a research related to music marketing, then we need to look into a marketing database. Um, so now I, I don't specialize in this kind of research. I don't know what the premier database on, on marketing is, but um, we can maybe, let's say business source ultimate um, if we just do a search with the, on the keyword music uh, then it will give us an idea of how much music is contained in this business database 831,923 records that are music related where the keyword music appears so that is a that is a lot uh, so now if we were to do research uh, on education um, and many of the music students are music education uh, students uh, you definitely want to search in an education database such as education source or ERIC. ERIC is probably the premier uh, database so if I do the keyword search here on just uh, typing in music we see there are 22,000 more than 22,000 records just related uh, to music or they have the keyword music in it so of course if you were to search you need to search very specifically for your uh, keywords uh, so figure figure out uh, keywords to search in this database um, and you may want to play with synonyms of those keywords as well uh, so that you can actually find all the existing se secondary literature. 
Um, now, if you were to do ethnomusicological or um, music sociological research, you do need to uh, look into databases that are um, sociology related. Uh, so here at our Texas State Library website, we have those databases all pre-sorted by main research areas. So let's say uh, sociology source ultimate. Okay, so if um, so, this database indexes uh, journals uh, that are on so uh, social issues and sociology. So if I type in just music, just to get an idea of how much music is included here, we can see here there are over 14,000 records. Um, now there may be some overlap of, of these with what we find in, let's say, especially JSTOR and Project Muse, but perhaps even a Music Index or Realm or Music Periodicals database, but there will also be many um, publications indexed here that we cannot find in any of the other databases. Um, so what I want to say is it is very important not just to look in music databases, but to look in other uh, discipline databases that are related to the, our topic, right? Um, criminal justice. I have uh, frequently students writing about um, the relation between uh, hip hop and uh, criminal justice or the criminal justice system in the United States. Uh, so it's very important then to search in a criminal justice database and so on. Uh, in music and mathematics, you want to search in math, in some math databases, because in a math journal, there might be uh, an article that is exactly relevant to your research that is related to math and music. Uh, anyways, I do want to point out one more very important database, that's dissertations and theses. Um, so I uh, go under the alphabetical listing. <clears throat> it may also be uh, listed again in most of the subject listings here on the Texas State website, but this is Dissertations and Theses Global by uh, ProQuest. Uh, and this lists uh, dissertations uh, written uh, uh, on all subjects. Uh, it's a primarily, the primary focus is really North America. Most uh, North American dissertations are listed in here, but there are many also from Europe and Asia uh, and, um, and perhaps other parts of the world as well. And so if I were just to uh, do a, a keyword search on music here, uh, then uh, you will see a very high number of dissertations. 70,507 dissertations have the keyword music in it, right? Of course, if you are searching for it, you want to um, uh, think of very specific keywords uh, that relate to your, uh, to your research. Uh, to find dissertations. Now, most of them are here in full text, so you can actually click on full text and download them. If you're not so sure, you can actually click uh, click on the title and, um, and here uh, click on abstract and read the abstract, and it will give you um, a good idea. And then if you want this dissertation, you can simply download it with the um, subscription that we have through the university. Uh, if um, you're from some other university and you need access to this, so look for a library uh, that has access to dissertations and theses. Um, or uh, you might also do some internet searches, but there will be a separate video on internet searches. So why is looking for dissertations important? It's, it's most important because uh, it's usually the cutting edge research uh, that is being done as dissertation research. So they may actually be, they may be PhD dissertations, they may be DMA dissertations, they may be um, uh, uh, music ed dissertations. Uh, there are also master's theses in there, many master's theses which are not as comprehensive, not as uh, large, 
uh, but nevertheless very important research. So it's usually cutting edge research that is done in theses and in dissertations. And so it's very important to look for dissertations, especially recently written ones. So you can uh, also narrow down the, the year in which dissertations were written. So if I were to update my music search just from 2010 on, uh, then we will find uh, still 21,625 dissertations or theses written uh, that are that have the keyword music in it. They may not all be music specific, but they have some aspect of music in, um, in it. So anyways, um, you don't always have to read an entire dissertation. You can just look into it, into the table of contents, can see what the author does how the author, author does it, um, get ideas for research methods, um, because usually research methods for dissertations are very advanced. So we can get very good ideas on how we can pursue a research. We can get those ideas out of uh, dissertations. Now, in some countries of the world, uh, they require dissertations to be published. Of, in Germany, for example, um, one cannot uh, hold the doctorate that as a title without the dissertation officially being published. Um, and uh, nowadays they may be published online in open access uh, or they may be published in print uh, if they're a little bit older. Uh, then, uh, then maybe those dissertations are not available in full text, uh, but one can um, at, perhaps uh, purchase a copy. Now, not all dissertations that are in this database are actually uh, available in full text. And I'm trying to scroll down to find one, but all of these are in full text. So I'm looking always here at this uh, full text link. Um, but um, I, I, they probably, oh, there was one uh, here. Uh, there is one that doesn't have the full text uh, link. And let's actually see where the dissertation was written. Cornell University. So now some universities may have their own repository of research uh, specifically uh, for dissertations and theses. So, and you can probably find this if you copy the title of this, open another window, go to Google, uh, type the quotation mark, and in between you uh, paste the uh, title of the dissertation uh, in, and perhaps, well, there's a site in Russia that seemed to have this dissertation. Let's see if... The, um, the, Uh, it's actually a discussion on, of it, um, but somebody provided uh, the link to it. Uh, although I'm not so sure, I will not click on download right now. Sometimes those are spam sites. Um, so you have to be also careful. But um, here was uh, iowa.edu uh, may mention this dissertation. Anyways, you can also include PDF as a keyword in your search. And um, well, this brings us to this uh, site, which mentioned this dissertation, uh, but we can't actually download it from here. So perhaps this dissertation is not available in full text, but it's definitely worth a try searching for it, or to even go to the Cornell University website uh, to uh, look up the library catalog and to search uh, for it, or um, even to look into WorldCat and see what WorldCat says, because most likely Cornell University has a library catalog entry for this dissertation, and then uh, it will also be in WorldCat. Anyways, so it's very important to not only search in music-specific databases, but also in databases of other subjects and in general um, uh, general databases such as dissertations and theses or 
Project Muse or JSTOR uh, to find literature that is related to your research. So um, anyways, enjoy um, pursuing your research. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to send me an email or leave a message here in um, underneath the video. Thank you. Bye.